What's up my creative fellas, hope y'all having a great day so far. Today I'm gonna take you on a tour around how I created this image called Man in His Own Mind. And this is going to be a speed art and actually a walkthrough. I try to give commentary as much as possible, but this is just a speed art on my workflow and how I managed to put all these pieces together. And this is for like intermediate users of Photoshop and professionals. So tighten down your seat belts and let's get going. Everybody knows that I cannot upload full videos on YouTube since photo manipulations take a lot of time to create so I can't simply share the full process but I can give you speed art and tell you my thought process and just show you how things were put together. If you have a basic knowledge of Photoshop and you are intermediate up to professional level, you are good to get this. Alright, let's get to work. Now you can see that I'm just cutting some rocks out of their backgrounds and putting them together but I'm also using the warp tool to make them look like kind of curvy because that's kind of uh, what I want to go for I like them to be in a circle shape and I want them to be pointy so I use the warp tool for this purpose here's how you can make your sky look swirly crop your image with the aspect ratio of 1 to 1 then go to distort polar coordinates then again go to distort and this time pinch congrats now you have a rounded shaped sky all you need to do is to clone the seam out so that it looks seamless And of course, instead of stretching the sky to fill up the whole scene, I duplicated it and put it to the other side so that it's filled up with the clouds. All you need to do is to mask some parts out of it. Right now, I'm only putting the rocks and the cliffs together to build up my scene. Later on, we will light match and color match them all together so that it makes sense. So always, build up your structure first and then you can color match and light match them later. And do not be afraid to shape your objects the way you want by masking them out. So just grab a hard round brush and mask out the rocks the way you'd like them to be. I'm making them more pointy using a hard brush. The further the rocks, the darker they're gonna be, so let's do that. I colorized my sky using a hue saturation and then mask it out and of course because I made my sky look more blue I need to make the rocks more blue as well especially the ones that are close to my sky and further in the background and if you have different layers of rocks put together or more general different layers of background put together do not forget to paint fog and haze between each layer it will add a ton of depth and it will look more aesthetic To paint highlights on the rocks, we use the lovely blend if simply because it's easy, simple and so accurate and it's fun as well. At any point of time, you can extend your canvas but make sure to do it at the very beginning of your composite or else you will be screwed up. If you decide to extend your canvas at the end of your manipulation, you will just simply not be able to and that will be a pain in the ass. So always the first thing you do is to crop your image to the aspect ratios that you desire and then start your composite. Don't do my mistake.
Did you know it's as simple as this to make some spotlights on the ground and some custom vignettes? All you need is a layer set to overlay blend mode and paint with white and black to make spotlights and custom vignettes. There you go. A very cool looking spotlight on the ground I got. And I already have myself cut out so I add myself to the scene and it's pretty straightforward process. Light matching, color matching and so on.
right, right now probably you are wondering how I created those mysterious floating and glowy lava lines around me. Let's just keep them for another video. I'm gonna show you how to create some magic in Photoshop in an upcoming video so you can clearly see how to make these on your own and make your own stuff. So let's just keep it aside and enjoy watching me color grading my photo. I love this color grade process. You know what I like to do? I think I'll make a dedicated video to this, but this is my favorite part of the process.